Welcome back. Hey guys, today here we're here with Brad Ballinger and Bob Pulse of Forest Specialties. We're in the Cedar Shade course. We learned how to sign them. We learned how to get them paid for. We learned how to do our hail and wind inspections. We learned how to write that Cedar Shake estimate. Now we're gonna go over some of the basic components of Cedar Shake and Cedar Shingle roofing systems so that you guys begin to understand how these things are installed and what kind of a components we use uh, to get those things installed. All right. You guys ready? We're ready. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, let's start by talking about the cedar shingle. These are the mach these are machine cut, right? That is correct. Number one, these are 18 inch, 3 8 spot. These are not cedar shakes, they're cedar shingles. These are cedar guys. shingles, four bundles per square based on five and a half inch exposure on the 18 inch. Four bundles per square. That is correct. All, all, shaken, sh all shaken shingle bureau certified material. So when these guys lay them, when you say five inch five exposure. Five and a half inch. So we're, like, we're looking at something About like this. About like that, that is correct. Okay, these are the ones that look real pretty. They don't look they don't look like the uh, the hand split ones. They look very uniform. That is right? correct. And it has a little very clean. Very clean, a little wider exposure than the 16 inch, which we'll get to later. Let's take a look at that label real quick. Okay, so when, when we're talking about Cedar Shake and Shingle certified, what does that mean? The Cedar Shake and Shingle Bureau is the basically the quality control institute that we, that's that we support. That's this deal right here. And what's that batch number? Does that mean it's actually been inspected that's, or that batch that's has been an inspected? Yeah, that's the QE qual or quality control uh, inspection number. So, so every bundle that you get will have one of these labels. Okay. So that means we got that means we're looking at number one cedar that shingle. That is correct. Not number twos or number threes. No, it'll say it'll all say number one on there. Okay. Uh, you don't want a number two, the number two would have flat grain, which you would not want. You'd probably want to use for starter. Good deal. On, get, and one more thing, on these jobs, you do use the actual shingle for the starter course. You don't need a special uh, lower grade shingle for that. We now, my, ex my experience, I've sold a lot of cedar shakes. Right. There tends to be a lot more cedar shakes on the marketplace than cedar shingles. You, I would agree with that. Yeah. But we do carry them all just for that, you know, uh, random project that does come along with the cedar shingles. Excellent. All right, so guys, what are we looking at here? 24 inch, 5 8 butt. 24 inch paper saw shake. This is called a shake. It's a little cleaner than a hand split shake, but you do get a, a full 10 inch exposure. So instead of that five inch machine cut yep. look, it's more of a natural look, 10 inch exposure. Yep. This is what I used to sell out of. Yep. Well, they're, 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 they're a lot cleaner than the shake looks. So. And again, the same type of label deal going on, rated by the Cedar Shake and Shingle Bureau. You got a batch number, yep. been inspected. Yep. We know it's good quality, number one cedar. Uh, so talk about the blue label. Everyone talks about the blue label. What does the blue label mean? Well, it's the it's the colored. It all says number one on it. But so all bureau stuff is going to be number one blue. Right. So when you say blue label, that yeah. a lot of times means number one cedar. It's been rated but by the. But there's a wide variety of blue labels. Yeah, okay. So it doesn't always mean you're getting number ones, correct? Well, they say number one, but you have to have the bureau. Got to have the bureau. That's the bureau and batch number right there by the Cedar Shake and Shingle Bureau. This also is 100% vertical grain, so everything's straight. If you look at the end That's here, a nice all... looking piece of wood right oh, there. Yeah, it is. It's That's beautiful. No <laughs> flat grains in this 100% vertical grain. Now, if that had a lot of knots, it had a lot of waves, we're oh, looking it at it, it's really a number two. Well, you start your dog on, yeah. You use it on, yeah. Dog you know, as I, as I was always trained, the number ones are the, fi the, finer, the finer grains, like what this looks. This is more the center of the tree trunk. Well, yeah, that's the heart. And is when you get out yep. to the outside, that's where you start getting a lot of your knots, your kind of right. your wavy like patterns, it. which is your number twos and number threes. Yep. So I used to tell customers, look, we're going to get you the best wood. This is the center of the tree trunk. In fact, that supplier keeps us a special batch right in the corner of their lot. And that's what I'm putting on your roof. That's why they signed with me. <laughs> that's it. All right, guys. So this is our standard hand split medium shake. That is correct. Now, this is a this is a product where you can have a 10 inch exposure, five bundles per square. Five bundles per square. That is correct. The, shingle, the shingles, the wood shingles are four bundles per square, correct? Right? The wood shingles are four bundles per okay. square. The medium shakes and the heavy shakes we'll talk about later. The medium are five bundles per square at 10 inch exposure. And this is the product you're gonna need the interlacing felt between split on your, felt. Split felt on, on your heavy and your medium shakes, you need that, that split felt. That is correct. Interwoven in between the shakes. The one thing to remember when you're looking at medium shakes. Uh, the Walden Mill is which what is what we carry. As you can see, the the butt uniform uniformity is uh, very consistent. Where some other mills are going to have kind of an inconsistent butt thickness. Right. This allows the uh, material to lay flat in the cruise water. That looks like all about consistently half an inch. Though. Right. It's all yeah. half inch. Okay. 
Typically, uh, medium shakes are half inch to three quarter inch in range. Yeah, it, it ranges from half to three quarter. And the heavies are three, three quarter, quarter inch to one inch. Right, that is correct. So, uh, this is basically, I would say, of all the shakes that go out, about 80% of the product is medium shakes. That's a very standard. This is this is product. typically what I used to sell right that here, is. all over Minnesota here. That's what I used to deliver to your sites, Anthony. Yep. <laughs> hey guys, now we're on the heavy shakes. That These are correct. the thick ones. Actually, there's a one thicker, the jumbo shakes. You can go to the jumbo, right? Which are one inch and one quarter inch, right? And you can actually go higher. You can go wow. Inch and a quarter. So the, the heavies are uh, typically what three quarter to one inch. Three quarter to one inch. On the butt end. Yep. Five wow. bundles per square, like the mediums. Much less of these out down the marketplace than the mediums. I yes. think the mediums are a higher. That is correct. But this is a wonderful upsell for your contractor because these are for your homeowner. These have a class four impact resistant rating, so the insurance companies may look at this at the insurance discount on the, for the homeowner. These are class four rated. So when you're out there selling or re-roofing a medium, you want to start with the heavy on the upgrade and then go back down. Nice. So it's a very, it's a, we, we, the contractors that are buying the heavies are all selling upgrades and this is uh, what they, what they put on. So. Nice. Yeah. By the way, what's the warranty on the medium shakes and the heavy shakes? I know this is the Walden brand, so they have a special warranty. What is that? Yeah, the, the Walden brand is going to give you a 40-year warranty. 40-year warranty? And it's on the product only. You have to understand on Cedar, it's on the on, on product, and the mill will replace the product. Because most Cedar's at 25 years, especially in climates like that this, is correct. they turn into potato chips. That is correct. But the Walden does have that extra warranty. Um, one thing that Walden does do is they, they flash dry their units before they put them on the truck, meaning they dry out the cedar so it's not soaking wet on site and the, the crews love it. Nice. So. It smells good too. It does. All right guys, let's talk about the basic underlayment and the other components go with our cedar shake or our cedar, cedar shingle roofs. Yep. We're in Minnesota. Ice and water shield is cold. Yep. You gotta go 24 inches inside the heater wall, three feet in the valleys. A lot of times I mean six feet up from the eaves in most six. homes. Right. This is our standard roll of ice and water shield. Covers in a what? Two square roll. Two yep. square roll. Yep. And so this is actually three feet. So on the eaves, yep. I'm gonna lay this out three feet against the gutter. Oftentimes, what, take another row up? Yep, so two rows three, up. Yep. So they hit that six feet, which guarantees they're going to get 24 inches inside the wall. Yep. That's a thick rubber membrane, guys, that protects it's exactly what the name right. says. Right. Protects against ice creeping up and your water runoff points on the roof. Yep, like but also valley. seals the nails and the staples right around it. Right. And water we also tight. throw in the valleys. Minnesota, yep. you got to put it in the valleys as well. Yes, you do. A lot of the northern states, guys, ice and water shields code. And part of our underlayment roofing system. So Brad, what are we looking at here? This is 30 pound felt. Covers two squares. Two square roll. Yep. And why are we using this instead of our standard 15 it's, pound felt? It's just twice as thick. Twice as thick. Because we got a heavier roofing system on right. top. Yep. Nice. So wherever we put our 30 pound felt on top of that decking, we don't need to put it where the ice and water shield is. Exactly. Right? Just overlap. Yep. Just a little overlap. All right, Brad, this is our split felt. A lot of guys don't even know what split felt is. Right. It's a 30 pound, 18 inch width. And then it interlays between the, the shakes here. So if you want to do, yeah. So you, you you lay this out on your roof, and then you're going to tuck your shakes underneath each roll. So we still have our base felt, yep. guys. Our 30 pound base felt. The split felt is then interwoven between the shakes, which yep. gives you an extra double, like a double layer waterproof. Uh, it's the waterproofing. Yeah, factor. it's the waterproofing yep. factor. So and you're, it does the ten. You have to have 10 inch. You know, it's in a, a lot of times point. when you write these these estimates in Xactimate, guys, guess what's not in Xactimate? Exactly. There's no split felt. So you got to add a manual line item in Xactimate or use your own estimate. And we used right. to get it paid for all the time, but you got to ask for it. Exactly. And it's one square per roll. So if you got a 40 square cedar shot right. job, you need yeah, 40 rolls of split felt. All right, so looks, Bob, what are we looking at here? What is this, cedar, cedar breather? This is cedar breather. This is an, a perfect opportunity is for it the gonna contractor. Is going to help us breathe? <laughs> Well, actually, this is it provides continuous ventilation underneath the cedar shakes and shingles. So this goes right on top of your on your your, thir your thirty pound felt your ice water shield. That is correct, and it needs to be attached with cap nails. Um, and how many squares per roll is you're this? You're going to get two square uh, per roll. Two square per roll coverage. 
But this is a great opportunity as an upsell to your homeowner. You get, it's going to give, you know, what value have, does it do? Is it, it's it going to, long as a life? I would say it's, the life. Yeah. Anywhere right. from five to seven years yep. is, is kind of what they're So because doing. it's allowing airflow underneath Continuous the cedar. ventilation underneath. This is especially important in our in our region underneath cedar shingles because of the hot and cold and the humidity. So if you cedar have this, you don't need any ridge vents or any other type of ventilation no, systems? No. Or you still do? Yes. No, you're still you still got to need, need your you still need this, some ventilation. This just at. allows for continuous ventilation for the the material to breathe evenly. So gotcha. you're not going to get the cupping and curling of the. Let's keep it dry. It, it kind of replaces the old board and batten where you laid out the two by two strips. Nice. You don't need to do that. So you guys, that. Cedar Breather, great upgrade opportunity. By the way, what what is a general? What is a cost per roll for this? You know, per roll? You get, the cost of the contractor per square, you're looking at about a sixty-five to seventy dollars a square. So you get hundred dollars to the hundred dollars to the homeowner to make a little profit per square. Per yeah. square. That is correct. Okay, so hundred dollars for exactly. thirty square roof, three thousand dollar upgrade, and I might get a little forty percent profit on that on that upgrade. Exactly. Price. Absolutely. Nice. No, it's a great it's a great add-on, and and I would suggest that every contractor includes this right out of the gate. Well guys, cedar shakes are typically on beautiful homes and those people tend to have a little money. Why not give them a little upgrade to some cedar breather, right? Prolongs the life of the shake. Prolongs the life also of the shake. Also makes you sound a little more knowledgeable as a Absolutely. salesperson, even though it's cedar breather is. Yeah, and you know the homeowners are gonna go online right away and the, and the website of uh, Benjamin Obdike does a great job of explaining in detail the act actual benefits of this product. We suggest that we, on every job that we sell the contractor, we. We, we mentioned this and try to get them get the upsell and don't we're, upgrade, we're batting guys. about 50 percent in this market so don't forget to upgrade those customers yes. all right guys next components are hip and ridge for our cedar shakes tell us a little bit about our hip and ridge or this ridge. is just the cap sheet and this is the cap the roof cap or the ridge going up the hips um one bundle covers 16 lineal feet so one of these bundles covers 16 linear feet yep so if you got a lot of hip and ridge that's going to add a lot of extra cost to that, oh, yeah, to that right. estimate, yeah, most of those and if you're an exactimate, guys, and writing that estimate, you got to make sure you add and get your hip and ridge included. And, and do the math right with your coverage. Absolutely. <laughs> now, what's this? This is our, our ridge vent system? Yep, it's a ridge vent, and we cover, this goes down first. You get done shingling, our shake, and so, so our hip and ridge goes on top. Right over that, and it right sticks out a little bit, so air can get in. And how many linear feet per bundle is that? This? Yeah. It's like 20, 20 linear feet. Yep. Okay, 20 linear feet. So we got 100 linear feet. We need yep. five bundles. Yep. Pretty simple math. And that's going to help get what ventilation into our attic system, correct? It comes in through the soft or goes out through the ridge. There we go. So we don't need any ugly low profile no, vans no, or no, turbine no, vans. No, no turtle we don't, don't want to put that stuff on a beautiful cedar shake roof. <laughs> All right, Bob, this wood here has got a little green tint to yeah. it. What, what are we looking this at? This is a treated shake. It's basically called a CCA treated shake. And this CCA is CCA treated. Yes. And what this does is you want to sell this product on houses that have the wooded area where they're going to have moss and mildew will fall on the shakes. This this treatment will so keep it's chemically that, treated. Chemically treated, and it'll keep the mold, the extra mold moss that grows in between. It'll yep. keep, it'll limit that to a minimum. Now, is there an extra warranty with CCA treated yeah, for five years or anything a, like that? That's a good uh, good point, Anthony. Uh, the CCA treatment itself is a 50-year treatment. 50-year so, warranty. And on top of the 40-year shake, so I, in in theory, the treatment's going to outlast the lumber. So it's going to wow. all last the roof. Some people don't like that green tint look. It, it, it will grade. I never like the green tint look. But, but it'll go to a darker color. It'll go to a dark gray over time. It will, yeah, it will fade. Yeah. And the upgrade is about 60 bucks a square. Um, on, on your cost level as a contractor, so you want to go at least 100 bucks a square to that customer. Correct? Absolutely. You want Another make, upgrade to sell your customer. Another upgrade. So we can, we can upgrade with a cedar breather. We can take a medium shake to a heavy shake. We can add a CCA treatment that and we can correct. make we can make another hundred, maybe even hundred and fifty, two hundred dollars a square profit as a contractor on top of what Absolutely. we normally have already. Absolutely. Excellent. Um, but if you're going into a, a neighborhood that has a lot of trees and a lot of you see, you'll see older cedar roofs, they'll have the moss. This is the product you want to upgrade into to eliminate that to a minimum. It's not gonna avoid it, but it will minimize. Now will the treatment actually decrease the the how fast the roof ages or deteriorates? Uh, no. Okay. No, no. So it's going to age just like any other that cedar. That is correct. Okay. Good You're going to just get a darker gray versus a lighter gray with the regular cedar. Nice. Over time. It's a great upgrade. So Brad, we got our fasteners here for cedar shakes. Let's let's cut, let's go over the different types of fasteners here. Okay. Well, we've got a hand nail, 8D. 
316 stainless. Does anybody hand nail anymore? Well, a lot of people do. Customers, <laughs> some customers. I used to sell it. hand hand nail only right. until yep. the crew stopped doing it. Like, well, hey yeah, man, I got too many jobs. We can't hand nail anymore. Well, that's why we got long. these now. You know, everybody wants to use a gun now. Same thing. So this is through the gun. 8D. 8D. Sta 316 stainless, which is the highest quality stainless you can get. Which the, which the crews would rather use because none of them want to hand nail they anymore. They put that right in their siding gun to nail on your shakes. And Ring we, chain. What do we got here? You got stainless steel staples, which uh, a lot of the crews use. Comes in a half inch or 7 16 inch crown, two inch length, so you get through the shake into the roof deck. Now I used to sell against staples on cedar. So I used to tell guys, hey look, staples pull up over right. time, they rust out. We're gonna we're gonna use the eight D ring shake. You know, I used to so this would be a selling point, but tell me do these rust out and pull up like the they, other old They staples? won't rust out, but they they are smooth shank, so okay. they don't have a ring shank on them. But at the end of the day, is the is the nail still a better quality yes, faster than the staple? A quality, okay. Yes, absolutely. Is there any reason why some crews would want to use staples versus coil nails? It's the same speed, correct? It's about the same speed. But okay. You get a little more coverage out of the staple. Get a little more coverage out of the staple. Yep. Okay, hey guys, it's our basic fasteners. All three are in stock at four specialties. Not many places carry all three in stock. Yeah, when we used to order in Chicago, we had to order. We had to order our fasteners from one place, yeah. our cedar from another. It was, a, it was a nightmare. Right. See you soon, guys.